Black Power, Peace, Love, Family, Floyd Williams coming to you. I'm the author of the book, The Origin of Racism. And I'm also the author of The Holy Black Papyrus. Come to you with a brief message, very brief, because the truth doesn't take a long time to say even though I can speak. But I just want you to know that money, money, that dollar bill, y'all, is the new slave whip. The dollar bill is the new slave, slave whip. That's what it is. The money is used as a tool and as a control mechanism. This is why the white man, sports industries, entertainment industries, and all of the streets, right? And white people, they don't mind giving the black man and the black woman a so-called astronomical uh, amount of money. Dealing with six figures and seven figures. They don't mind giving it to us these days. Because they know that we're not going to do anything with it. They know that the money that they give us, as soon as it's in our hand, it's going to exit our hand and be right back in theirs. You see, they that's why they don't mind giving it to us. Because we're not going to do a damn thing with it. And we're not doing nothing with it. And we're not going to do anything with it. Because of the way that they know that they have thoroughly uh, and mentally and spiritually subjugated us. And indoctrinated us. They know our psych. When I say psych, I'm talking about from the real base meaning of the word. Spirit. Okay. And also dealing with the other half of psych. Which is dealing with the psychology, the mentality. They know that we're going to give it right back to them. Money is not a tool that we use properly as a means of empowerment and liberation. So they don't mind giving us that money. It's the new whip. Money is the new whip. I was in Haiti. And Haiti is considered the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. Okay, but all over the world, we are in the same boat. The reason why they keep places like Haiti down is because they know their mentality is the opposite of the dead Negro and black man in America. Them Haitians don't have no question and no doubt as to their position and relationship to the world and into, to the world and with the European. They know if they pour money into those countries like Haiti and allow the infrastructure to build up that the, that the white man and the European know that they would forever be cut off and removed because they are going to use that money properly to free themselves, liberate themselves, and they're going to operate as an independent people. So they're not going to give them money because they know what they're going to do with the money. So they'll give it to us because they know what we're going to do with the money. But all over the world, we're in the same boat no matter what the illusion looks like. Whether you're in the Western world uh, or the Northern uh, continent of America or not, we still all in the same boat because it's all just an illusion. Rather you in Haiti or you in America, we in the same boat, okay? And we in the same boat because we all going to suffer the same fate due to this skin right here that they detest and can't stand and they mad about the demographics and how they are disappearing off of the planet. In America, they said to become the minority. In Europe, they having a negative birth rate. Okay, negative birth rate meaning they're not even added to the population. So money is the new whip. Money is only a whip and a control mechanism 
So don't get caught up on the money. Get it. But get the money and use it right. Money is currency coming from the word current. Okay, so the money is only being used to control our currency and energy. We just can't get the money, the currency, and give them back our energy. You see, we're giving them our currency in the form of energy, and we're giving them back the currency in the form of the dollar. We can't win like that. So don't value that dollar like that. Come back into your mind, black man and black woman and holy black family. Use that dollar right. Let's get independent. Let's govern ourselves. Let's build some things. Because right now we are only setting up uh, our children to be perpetual slaves. To be perpetual slaves. We must take an honest look and make a true assessment of our state and condition over here. And where we are and where we are going. We in 2017 and we caught up in a civil rights movement. We can't afford to live another civil rights movement. We can't do that. We cannot do that. We cannot move forward like that. We can't do that. See, a lot of our parents had to work jobs. They had no choice. Had to work that job until they retired because they weren't going to quit that job and go fill out no application and go online and go through no paper and get no job. They did it because they had to. 